Hello there, more here, and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today, we're going to dive into a champion guide and spotlight on a spirit affinity, uncommon, high elf champion named Elfguard. But before we do that real quick, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support of my channel. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do this, and your support means the world to me. Because together, we are on a mission to create the most comprehensive library of champion guides of the epic and rare champions and the occasional uncommon as well, that the Raid Shadow Legends community has ever seen. And we're going to do this. If you are here, though, and you are not a subscriber of my channel, then thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope by the end of this video, I could have the privilege of having you a subscriber of this channel. So let's get into her. Elfguard, why is she here? Why am I doing this video? Because she's only an uncommon, right? Well, she has an a nice little kit that I think she just might be viable for your account if you are a low spin, free to play, and a lower level account in general. She, yes, she is an uncommon, but not all uncommons are food. Not all uncommons are wasted. Remember, uncommons are people too, right? So let's get into her kit and find out. So, real quick, I want to let you know though, by the end of the video, later on in the video, I will take her into Fire Knights with some other uncommons. And we can see what she can do, and you can see some gameplay on her and her in action. So let's do that. Her A1, though, however, first is attacks one enemy, has a 25% chance of placing a 25% decrease attack debuff for one turn. You book it out, it only scales the damage, does not scale the chance to land, which isn't okay, whatever. Remember, she's an uncommon. And that debuff is the smaller version of the debuff. Remember, she is only an uncommon, she is not a rare or epic. So you shouldn't expect a whole lot. However, a chance to land a debuff from an A1 from an uncommon is still pretty nice, even though it's only a one-hit A1. Her A2, this is the skill that I think she could be uh, helpful for your account and help progress you through some of the dungeons as well. Attacks one enemy, decreases the turn meter by 50%. It just straight up decreases. It's not a chance to land. It's not a chance to proc. Just 100% as long as she beats the accuracy roll, roll and check against their resistance, which is pretty helpful, pretty nice. Decreases the turn meter by 50%. That's half of their turn meter. That's a good chunk. And also, if you book it out completely, it ends up being a two-turn cooldown. So every other turn, she can land this Impale, which is the name of the skill, and she can decrease that turn meter by another 50%, which is pretty helpful, especially against some of those dungeon bosses. Now remember, some of the dungeon bosses cannot have their uh, turn meter decreased, like the Dragon, for example, or the Clan boss, if you want to take her to the Clan boss. You cannot decrease their turn meter, so her skill, this skill, is wasted against them. All it is is damage, which is not entirely all that much. She's an attack-based champion, so remember that. What have I got her? What um, sets do I have her? How have I got her built? I have her built in some accuracy, speed, and immortal gear in general. I don't have a whole lot of good stuff on her, but that's what I put her in. This You can put her in whatever you want to put her in. I was thinking I wanted to get her accuracy up. Her accuracy, look, is 136. Let's get into her actual stats here. Her accuracy is 136 right there. So I want her to be able to land that impale because... Decreased turn meter skills proc off of accuracy. They do. You need that accuracy. Otherwise, that turn meter will not decrease. It'll be resisted, and you don't want that because that is why she is there. Additionally, her A1 has a chance to land the decreased attack, so you want more accuracy for that as well. Overall, her kit, what I've done with her, what I've built it is I gave her some HP, which is where the Immortal Gear came from, so the self-sustain as well. That 3% heal every turn is not too bad. I gave her some speed, 159 speed. I want her to be able to come back around, especially on the Fire Knights. The team I've got set up are A1s. There's only a total of 7 hit A1s, so she needs to come back around before that Fire Knight can, if it can happen as well at all, so that she can hit again so we can drop that shield off the Fire Knight. You'll see it in action just a little bit when we get into the actual gameplay and why I've got the speed there as well. But the biggest thing I wanted on her was I wanted some HP. Her defense is only 500. Her defense is not very high as well. If you're going to use her, I highly recommend that you build HP, defense, speed, and accuracy for her. You really don't need a whole lot. She wouldn't be on the team for crit rate for damage in general, I don't think. You could probably build her for DPS if you wanted to, but I would build her and put her in the team to be able to utilize that decreased defense, right? that decreased turn meter skill for more utility over damage, but that's just my opinion on there. Don't take my word for gold. My word is not law. I am not the end-all, be-all of all champions and how to properly build them. You check out other videos, other guides, other content creators, and you do some experimentation on your in your uh, champion. If you want to use it, you check it out. You find a way to make it work, and you let me know. 
comments down below. Let me know what you've done with yours if you decide to use Elf Guard and where you used her for how you built her. So real quick, let's get her into some actual gameplay. Oh, we didn't go through Masteries, but I can let you know I have no Masteries on her. So she's completely zero scrolled. But we're going to get into Dragon, sorry, not Dragon Slayer, Fire Knights. We're not going to go very high. We're only going to do Stage 9. Now remember, now Stage 9 is even probably higher than some people out there might be watching. You guys might be watching this video. Your Stage 9 might not be there yet. I got it. I get it. Real quick before we get into it and you ask like, well... Boar, your great haul or your whatever uh, this is not is is crazy. No, not mine. Look, I'm only currently. Oh wow, bronze one. I was bronze two earlier today. Apparently, I've dropped down. That's not cool. But bronze one, that's my great haul. Not very developed. I do have accuracy boost for the spirit affinity and a defense a little bit and crit damage. Yes, she's elf guard is a spirit affinity, but she doesn't get a whole lot of boost and stats from my arena stuff in general. So. Remember that when you're comparing yours to mine, remember your account is your account, not my account. I can't exactly replicate it, but I can show you what she can do, the potential that she might have that you can use for your account in general. So let's get into this. I told you, we're going to do Fire Knights and we're going to pair her up with some other uncommons. I paired her up with two Armagers and two Rares. And yes, one of my Rares is Apothecary. He is level 60. I got it, so he is pretty built up pretty decently. He is on my Ultra Knight, my clan boss. But he is there really for the purpose of helping keep people alive and speeding up the team. He's there for the utility of it. I have Mother Superior there to help assist with the keeping people alive as well. Again, more utility. She also has an attack down on her A1. It's a 25% attack down as well, just like Elf Guard. And then I got my Armagers. My Armagers are there for Terminator decrease as well to pair with the Impale of Elf Guard when we get to the actual boss. So, now, we're almost here. We're almost done. We're already through round two. In round two, we're almost done with round two, but it's going to take like another 15 minutes, seconds. She just did the Impale to decrease the Terminator on that one. Armagers, they have a decreased Terminator on their A1, which is I prefer Armager over Elf Guard. They're also a defense-based champion, but that's me. You compare them, you run them together, and you test them out on your account and see which one works better for your account in what situations. So, we biggest thing is that we got to get this shield down, right? This 10 hit shield down. That's why I've got a pot together to help keep speed the team up, right? That's why I put speed on elf guard. So hopefully she can come back around again because mother superior elf guard and both armor girls only have one hit attacks on them. So we're only one hit per turn. We got the shield done, but we didn't get another decreased terminator, which is not cool. So again, this is fully auto. I'm not manually any of this. So we're not actually controlling it. This is just, it can run. It's an automatic team. I've done it. I've tested it. It should work again here for us as well. So unfortunately, Elf Guard just did her impale. The Terminator decrease did not do anything because that shield was up, right? Terminator decrease. We should be golden now. So we, we should see her impale come back around her next turn because it's on a two-turn cooldown. Remember that? So here we go. Apothecary, sorry, not Apothecary. There we go. Ter Terminator decrease for in the Impale from Elf Guard. That is why you would have her on the team, right? For the off chance of the decreased attack, but Mother Superior already placed it, so we didn't need her. Armagers are there for the Terminator decrease as well. But again, that's why you have Elf Guard. Here she can do it again right now. 50% Terminator decrease. But now, remember, with her Terminator decrease, it's term, it's what it does is the way it works is it decreases the Terminator by 50%. So what it does is half of the Terminator that is there, well, it will de be decreased by 50% of the current Terminator, not 50% total. So it brings it down to zero. It'll never go to zero. As you can saw, the last one she hit, it was already at like 40. It only dropped 20%. So it's only 20, 50% of the current Terminator. There's other champions that have skills along those lines, Crimson Slayer is one of them, so be careful of that. Crimson Slayer is not a bad champion. She's another spirit fitting champion. She is now she's good for the fire dance, but be careful because her Terminator decrease is just like Elf Guard's. It, it decreases by 50% of the current Terminator. Armager decreases by 30%, period. So if it's only at 10%, he'll zero it out. If it's at 110%, she'll take it at 80. Elf Guard, 50% of the current Terminator. Now, some champs, some bosses, like the spider, for example, will get like 150% turn meter built that it hasn't gone yet because your turn and your turn meters are just going a little bit faster, right? But if it's big like that and you need that 50% decrease from elf guard, boom, down to 75%. It's 50% of the current turn meter. So remember that she could definitely be help your champ, your account out. She can progress your account. 
Let me know that in the comments if you want to use her, if you tried to use her, and what you've done with her. But that's my elf guard. She's only level 30. Let me know if you want me to build her up and do her at level 50. I will if you want me to. Just let me know. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate your support so we can build the most comprehensive library of champion guides that this community has ever seen. I'll see you on the next video.